Hey there, my name is Megan and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my October and November book haul. I was not planning on acquiring so many books in those months, but there's quite a few. So let's just get on into what I bought in the fall months. The first book is none other than The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black, which is the final installment in the Folk of the Air series which is a YA fantasy series that pretty much everyone has heard of and is talking about. I have already read this and really enjoyed it, so I'll give more in-depth thoughts in my December wrap-up. The next book I got, of course, is The Burning White by Brent Weeks. This is the fifth and final installment of the Lightbringer series. And as you can see, I'm about halfway through, and I am absolutely loving this book so far. I'm gobbling it up. This is an adult fantasy series that has a really interesting magic system and very, very complex and compelling and morally gray characters, and I am absolutely loving this. So I will go once again into more detailed thoughts in my December wrap-up. And, of course, this wouldn't be an... November book haul if I didn't haul Star Sight by Brandon Sanderson. This is the concluding book to the Skyward duology. And I read Skyward this past year and absolutely loved it. So I am planning and picking this book up as soon as I am done with The Burning Way because I cannot wait to learn what happens to Spensa and what we learned at the end of Skyward. Next, I picked up a copy of The Beautiful by Renee Audier. This is a YA vampire story and it takes place in New Orleans, I believe during the 1800s and follows a French girl who comes to the United States kind of seeking to start a new life. I did start this in October. I got about 100 pages in and did put it down, not because I wasn't enjoying it, but there were some things that happened that just kind of threw me off and put me in a reading slump, but I do plan to pick this book up right in the beginning of 2019 because I really do want to finish it. Next, I picked up Bloodleaf by Crystal Smith. This is a YA fantasy series that I haven't heard too much about, but I have been interested in since it came out, and this is a book that has to do with blood magic. That's really all I know, but like I said, it's been on my radar since it's come out, so I decided just to go ahead and grab a copy, and I do plan on reading this very early in 2019. And the last new books I picked up were the sci-fi series by Becky Chambers. I don't know the name of the trilogy, but it is A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, A Closed in Common Orbit, and Record of a Space Born Few. This is an adult sci-fi series that I've heard talked about a lot on BookTube. I've heard that it's very character driven and it's not super hard sci-fi. So I did want to give it a try and I found um, one of these used and two of them I purchased new on book outlets so that was very very convenient. So I am looking forward to starting this series sometime in 2020 and I'm glad to finally have more adult sci-fi on my bookshelves. The next four books I'm going to be showing you are all books that I got used. The first one is The Girl in the Tower by Katherine Arden. This is the second book to the Bear and the Nightingale trilogy. I own The Bear and the Nightingale and I still have not read it, but when I came across this for about $5 at a used bookstore, I just went ahead and grabbed it. I know that the story takes place in Russia or a Russia-like country and it's got very, very good winter vibes and I've heard it's very atmospheric and that the magic system is really cool. So I have no doubt that I'm really going to enjoy this trilogy. So I just have not gotten around to starting it. And when I saw the second book used in such good condition, I just couldn't pass up grabbing it. Next book I got used is Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norell by Susanna Clark. This book I wasn't sure if I wanted to read. It is historical fiction with a fantasy twist. I have started watching the Netflix adaption of this so I am familiar with some of the story. I have not finished the series on Netflix and now that I have the book I'll probably want to read it first but this takes place in the early 1800s during the Napoleonic wars in Britain and magic has basically disappeared. There's very few people that can conjure real magic but we do have a magician who still practices those arts and he meets another magician who has those similar talents and they help out Britain with the Napoleonic Wars and I could not pass this book up because at the used bookstore it was a dollar so for a dollar I will definitely give this book a try and I'm happy to have it on my shelves. 
Next, I picked up two classics. The first one is The Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad. This is a classic that I have wanted to read for a long time. I know that it focuses a lot on colonialism, and I know that the movie Apocalypse Now is loosely based off of this, loosely. So it's always kind of piqued my interest, so I'm glad to finally have this in my possession. It's not a terribly long book. This doesn't. It, this edition does include, I think, some of Joseph Conrad's short stories. So I went ahead and grabbed it for a dollar. I really couldn't pass it up. The last used book I got was Go Set a Watchman by Harper Lee. This is the sequel to To Kill a Mockingbird, which if you watched one of my previous hauls, I did pick up um, a new copy of To Kill a Mockingbird because I have no idea where mine went. And this is in perfect condition. I cannot believe this is a used book. I don't think it's ever been read. And once again, I got it for a dollar. But this follows Scout as an... 20 something year old and she returns home to deal with her ailing father and this is right in the kind of heightened tension of the civil rights movement in the United States in the 60s so I think I will be very interested in reading the sequel to To Kill a Mockingbird and really look forward to reading this. The next books I'm going to be showing you are all advanced reader copies. The first one is Heartstrings and Other Breakable Things by Jacqueline Ferkins. This is a young adult contemporary and it follows our main character, Eddie Price, who finds herself torn between two guys, the quintessential bad boy and the quintessential good boy. So it really, really sounds like an extremely tropey YA contemporary, but believe it or not, that is actually a trope that I like. So I don't read a lot of contemporary, but this one actually did kind of intrigue me. So I went ahead and grabbed a copy and I do plan on reading this. I don't know when because I really have to be in the mood for a contemporary, but I do want to eventually get to this. And this has a release date of December 2019. I'm not sure what day. So this actually might already be out. The next advanced reader copy I have is The Stars We Steal by Alexis. I don't know if it's Dawn or Donne. I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name. But this book I originally thought was sci-fi, but it was actually um, classified as romance which kind of threw me off and then I've heard this book described as the bachelor in space so I don't tend to gravitate towards romance very often but the fact that it is in a space setting really 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 interested in me and it follows a girl named Leo she is a princess and she's found out that her father has pretty much squandered their fortune and she ends up coming back in contact with a childhood friend who has made something of himself and he is one of the most sought after bachelors in the galaxy and Leo has to kind of compete for his attention and affection amongst other bachelorettes. So definitely an interesting concept and I do look forward to reading this. And The Stars We Steal comes out in February of 2020. The next book I have is The Queen's Assassin by Melissa De La Cruz. I have never read anything by Melissa De La Cruz, so I'm interesting to see if she's a writer that I mesh with. I don't really know much about this story, except that it follows a guy and a girl, both who are in service to the Queen, and it does follow kind of their falling in love and their romantic relationship amongst a fantasy setting and political upheaval. This was definitely a book that was on my radar and that I was interested in reading. So I am really glad that I picked up an arc of this and this comes out in February of 2020. The next arc I have is Greythorn by Crystal Smith. This is the sequel to Bloodleaf. I don't know if that is going to be a duology. Or this is the second book in the series. Since I haven't read Bloodleaf, I really can't say anything about this book. I know nothing about it. All I know is that it comes out in March of 2020, and I will probably be picking it up as soon as I read and finish Bloodleaf. Next, I have two middle grade arcs that I picked up. The first one is Gloomtown by Ronald Smith. 
This follows a boy and a girl who take a job at this spooky mansion and we find out that the owner of the mansion and their employer is more than he seemed and a little bit sinister and they have to protect their city from this evil force. And finally I picked up The Thief Knot by Kate Milford. This is a green glass house story which I did not realize was a really really popular middle grade series. Um, so I'm not sure if these are in order or if they are companions. I think that they're more companion stories. If it was a sequel, I wouldn't have picked it up because there are a bunch of books in this series. All I know about this book is that it is a middle grade mystery and for a middle grade book, it is quite chunky. It's about 500 pages. So I'm actually really, really intrigued in reading this and seeing what all the hype around this middle grade series is. All right, guys, so that is it for my October and November book haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and I will see you in another video soon. Bye.